Welcome back to the group view. This is Alejandro. Carlos. Got Matt in the back. What's going on? So, uh, I was talking to the guys earlier. I felt like minimum wage should be raised. Uh, we have somebody here who's actually knowledgeable on the subject, so I kind of wanted to pick his brain a little bit to get more in depth analysis. <laughs> 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 what was that? Like, in-depth analysis, analysis around as to why wage. he feels that it's <clears throat> not the perfect term that it looks so take it away i wouldn't say like i'm knowledgeable but it's just like so it sounds i think like we need and i guess like for myself as well i need to do a, a better job like doing the homework on it because look we need to think outside the box we need to think what that really means when we think about minimum wage and then then you know being raised and all of that it sounds amazing it sounds really good it sounds like you know job well done mm-hmm. success but what does that really mean guess what it means the reality of it let me give you the the bullshit that they give you and then the reality of it bullshit that they give you is minimum wage they're going to raise it People that, guess what? They were getting paid just a little bit. Now they're going to pay get paid a lot more. That means they bring more money in for their families. Mm-hmm. That means their family can, you know, live a better life. That's Amazon. It's a perfect example, right. raising it to $15 an hour. Yeah. Uh, and then they had to cut off benefits because. Exactly. They- so the bullshit that they give you is that they're going to raise it. These people are going to get paid better. And guess what? They're going to live a better life. So that means that everybody's happy at the end of the day. UP. That's not the truth. Truth is, they're going to raise the minimum wage. A lot of employers that are like, oh, shit, okay, you want to get paid more? Guess what? I need more requirements. I need more from you. I need you to go back to school. I need you to give me, you know, need better education, need all this, that, and the third. That these people, the people that actually need the higher pay, don't have. And they're a lot of them are never going to have. Yep. You know, they're not going to be able to go back to school because it's like between school and work. Now, yeah, they need that to pay so, the bills. It's tough. Yeah. So so minimum wage <laughs> at the same time as it sounds good, it's bad. You know, and yeah. it's 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 I don't know what the solution for it is. I don't know how right. we can fix and then, it. And also, come, I will say that uh, large uh, corporations do say that when they raise the minimum wage, they are then... They then have to provide health care because right. it's above a certain amount of money yep, per exactly. year. Yep. Um, and then they can't, they say they can't afford that. Because so employees. Cut, so they cut benefits yeah, yeah. and then they, and then it leaves the person stuck. Exactly. So, I mean, because a lot of it is like, so because the whole from, point of minimum of raising it is to get benefits. Yeah. And to, you know, yeah. Is it? It is. I would assume. I was so. just doing it. I was my 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 logic behind it was just to give somebody more take home money. Right, well, yeah, but wouldn't but, that? But sometimes those people who need the take home money don't have benefits. They right, can't afford right. it. Think about how much it is per month for healthcare and things like that. No, but I know right. people that like that aren't in a corporation. I know people, for example, now that are making minimum wage and they still like they have the offer for benefits and they still don't take them, like health benefits, because it's like it still costs too much out the check. Yeah, they need that. Yeah, I mean, like, just because it's being brought up and just because they offer it doesn't mean that everybody's going to take it. Yeah. Right. You know, some people really like I'm talking about, again, the reason why I want to raise minimum wages is because I'm talking about the people that are like destitute that really, really need it. And I know, you know, Carlos said, obviously, most likely they won't get it. But hopefully, you know, the ideal world would be like where at least, let's say out of 10 people, two or three actually do retain the job and get them, you know, higher minimum wage. Right. And that's the hope. And then on the other hand, if not, then hopefully, you know, let's say somebody that's overqualified comes in, takes the role. Hopefully that they're there as a stepping stone to use that and then get out and open up the job again for somebody who does need it. Right. You know, the whole point is to have that, you know, that floor, that starting point where people that need that income to live and sustain their life have that opportunity. Right. Right. And but this also goes back to like um uh Andrew Yang's philosophy of um healthcare or, or um universal basic income. Right. The, yeah, where he's offering like where everybody it's like offering a thousand dollars. And his point is that um 
because companies are becoming more advanced and because technologies, you know, it's be, we're, we're hitting AI, we're hitting automation, these lower income jobs, these base level jobs that most people who need them mm-hmm. would go into won't be around in five to 10 years. That's scary. So yeah. how, yeah, it's, so it's basically <clears throat> like addressing the problem straight up saying, you know, they, not only are they uneducated um, and not, and it may not be because of their fault. It could just yeah. be because what they were born into. Yeah. Right. Just circumstance um, yep. of life. Right. And, and, and now they're, the jobs that they would normally go into are going to be automated because tech companies are are looking at ways to save money. Right. So can you blame capitalism or 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 is it or is it something else? Me personally look, I look I live in America. I I'm one of those people that like I'm okay to say it's a great country and I love it. And yeah. realistically from having traveled everywhere, mm-hmm. I would not live anywhere else but here. Yep. With that being said, the fact that I love the country means that I am able to recognize its flaws. And this is one of its flaws. Capitalism is amazing because it opens up a lot of doors and opportunities, but it's flawed because like you said, like companies say they can't afford healthcare. Like come on. Amazon can't afford healthcare for everybody? Right. This guy's worth like 150 billion dollars and he can't afford it. With all the, especially now with the new tax reform that got put in place, where companies like Amazon and big companies like Facebook, Tesla, they get to keep more money because of tax cuts. You can't afford it. It's BS. It's just because you don't want to give up that bonus at the end of the year that yeah. you're giving people. Yeah. So you can't afford it. And this stems from capitalism. And that's a flaw. The income disparity is a huge flaw. And the reason why it's a flaw is look, I don't want to take away from the people who work hard. I'm not taking nothing away from Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk, none of them, because they did the innovators work. Innovators of the world. They did work right. to get to a certain place, and they are doing amazing things. With that being said, to say that they deserve an extra five hundred million or whatever their bonus is, in comparison to somebody who has nothing, and them needing an extra thirty k, right? Are you kidding me? Like it's not even a comparison. Somebody that already has a billion in the bank does not need an extra million, five hundred million. But somebody who has nothing in the bank, they do need that. Right. right. It's going to give away so much more for that person. And, you know, people don't look at it, but if you increase the income inequality, you now have more income in circulation to fund the economy. You know, people yeah. that, you know, maybe weren't able to spend money on other stuff, now they can. And now you're, they're putting money in businesses. Right. Maybe they're going out to eat more. Maybe they, you know, go on a vacation. There might be families out there that never been on a vacation. Who knows? Right. There's just so much stuff that, like, gets overlooked when it's like, you're only as strong as your weakest link. And imagine if our weakest link was making sustainable living economy. That's just something right. to think about. But that's that's where us humans, we are selfish. Damn. We are. Now we are. We're selfish. We, (laughs) you know, we're money hungry, power hungry, and all of that. Mm. And that's where we're like, they don't care. They don't care. The 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 richer you are, the more that you care just about that. Money, 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 money. They don't care about those things. They know. They of course everybody knows. Everybody sees. You know, like let's say I'm I'm the owner of this big corporation, whatever. I know that half of my organization is getting paid shit. Do I care? No. Guess what? You guys are still going to get paid shit. I want the work done. Yo, you going to go on your but third vacation? But that's, yeah, because that's, <laughs> that's what it is. That's the no, reality it of it. Crazy, they man. know that they treat some of their and, employees like trash. And do you think that, um, do you think that large, do you think that corporations or small businesses um, see um, laziness in some people? And people who use this system and are fed up with it because some people who work hard and create a business and a life uh, provide to the economy and provide to this country. Um, whereas those and they see those people and they so they read the news and they see this, you know, this bullshit of laziness and people taking you know advantage of our health systems and, you know, getting Medicaid and all this shit for free, but not working or not putting any right. effort into it. How I, I that's like I feel like that's also that's, another that's, problem. So that's the backlash. That's the unfortunately, you know, counter argument to it. Right. It's like why should I, if and then that's where people start putting 
everybody in one group. You know, one one person fucks up. That's it. Everybody else is in that group, and right. everybody you know looks the same. And that's the unfortunate part of it. And that's the part that we then got to think like, how can we fix that? What is there to fix? You know what I mean? And I guess that's where it's like being selfish. Is it good? Because then I can be selfish and say, all right, I may be part of this group of low income, but I'm going to bust my ass to prove myself. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't have that in them. A lot of people that are low income, they don't, they just say, all right, you want to, you want to categorize me and you want to put me in a group. Guess what? I'm going to play the role. I'm going to do just that, play the system. And then that's where the system, and then it becomes a cycle. And it's like, that's where the system puts you in a situation where it's like, okay, you know what? Just, just stay in there, stay in there. And it becomes a generation thing. And everybody then plays the system and everybody knows how to play our system of staying in welfare, keep on getting help from the government working. A lot of people know that a lot of people know that, you know what, for me to keep, keep my benefits and all of that, all I need to do is just work a little bit, make, you know, a few dollars here and there, not enough that they see it. And then I just quit my job and go right back to, Hey, you guys got to take care of me. Yeah, and then nah, that's that where crazy. it's like, okay, how, what do we do about that at the same time of trying to help, you know, my my guy here who's actually working hard and doesn't want help from the government because he has that in him that, you know what, I need to take care of my family. But, you know, he's being categorized. So that's where it's like, I don't know. I don't know what is there for <clears throat> Now, yeah, it's tough. It's tough to come up with like a definite solution just yeah. because it's it's such an intricate and complex problem, like you said. Because I mean, you know, somebody who does work hard as an entrepreneur, they probably have a parochial view when it comes to the poor people because yeah. they'd be like they do see people that take advantage, and then all of a sudden, you know, how, we're just creatures of habit, and we're like we see one thing and that's it. We think that's how it is. Yeah. So it's like, oh, these people are taking advantage. So you know, everybody's taking advantage. That's cool. Yep. While there are people out there that are busting their ass and working hard, and they yeah. get overlooked, and that's the sad truth of it. Just like everybody that's poor sometimes views the rich as like, oh, they're all greedy. Where I'm sure a lot of them do good for the community. Yeah. It's just it gets overlooked it. by the fact that there's such income disparity, and I think that just comes from trying to just. I don't know if it's educate yourself, but at right. least just trying to, you know, put yourself in people's just, I shoes. I think it's out of fear, though, too, though, because because we have like, uh, you know, Americans uh, blaming immigrants for stealing jobs in this country. Yeah, so. no, that's crazy. The jobs that they wouldn't even want. But that's the right. combo for right. another day. That's crazy. Because right. it's like, so, look, but, in the, in the perfect world, does it sound does it sound good when you think about like, let's say the three of us were like billionaires. Right. Oh, and the three of us, okay, okay. because when people when people say that, all right. Let's say the three of us then decide, okay, you know what? I'm going to do something good. I don't need all this money. So guess what? I'm going to keep a little bit in the bank, and then I'm going to start, you know, just helping people out. What's, low a, little income. Bit? What's a little bit? How much are you going to keep? I don't know. All right. It's half a million. What? Let's just say that. Or a million dollars. Okay. I keep it in the bank. And then I start just giving out. Guess what? The government is going to want to take some of that. This organization is going to take some of that. It's it's just, it's hard. I feel like at the same time, it's like, it's hard for you to figure out how to make it. Like how to invest it. How to, yeah. not, not just invest it, but how, how can someone that is a billionaire say, okay, I want to help the low income. How? You know what I mean? Like how? Because to us, it's like, oh, just go there and just put money in their bank. Right. But then that's handouts. Right. And then it's and then, then it's it like doesn't create, help. Create, does it really help? What about creating programs and then I mean right. you know, and then when you, you have create experience pro- with yeah. programs yeah. where you create people programs take and it. people still it, it people want handouts. People at the end of the I human know. beings want handouts. They want the more money doing the Dude. least work. <laughs> now they that's do. the unfortunate part. Because then, uh, you know, it's what I said. It's like you want the billionaires to, all right, come on. You guys need to give it back to society. (laughs) But then is society going to put in the work or we're going to see it as, well, he has all that money. He's doing what he's supposed to. No, he's not. You know what I mean? Like if I worked hard for my money, I'm not doing what I'm supposed to, which is give back to society. But if I want to, I also want to see society put in the work with me to better themselves. And a lot of the times it doesn't happen like that. 
But that, that was a good question. And so this will be the part one. Next week, we'll talk part two and we'll kind of discuss maybe ideas that we have in terms of where the money could be invested or put that might help people. Again, leave comments down below on ideas you have, maybe ways to fix or cure the inequality in the income. Comment, like, share, and subscribe. And until next week, appreciate it.